Hello and welcome to a new video. Today I'm starting a little reading vlog. Today is a Wednesday and I'm thinking that this should run until Sunday because Monday is May 1st. <laughs> so yeah, I hope you're excited for some weekly reading vlogs going forward. In May is a new video on some like vlogging for that, but as you can maybe see on the title for this video, I'm gonna cheat start my May TBR because it is the 26th today. And I filmed a TBR yesterday, and it's like a billion books long, like literally 20 books long. And I was just like, well, I'm done with my April TBR, or basically done. I have one book left. So I thought, why not cheat? But I'm gonna make it more difficult for myself, because I wanted to start that, but I also realized I wanted to read other books. So I don't know what I'm doing. And I thought, why not just make a reading vlog when you're on it, Sandra? <laughs> want to just document what you're doing hmm? so we're doing that and i'm gonna go to work really soon and read as much as possible there it's my last day at the bingo that i work at which i'm very excited about very happy very excited so what i realized is that on my may tbr i forgot to put on on our shirt sky by Fonda Lee. i actually got this yesterday so I forgot that I was getting it. I also forgot to put on yellow face, which is very annoying. And yeah, this vlog is going up after the TBR. So if you haven't watched the TBR yet, if you don't know what I'm talking about, go and watch that. This one is one of Lee's newest book. And obviously it's super short. It's like a novella, oh, very short novel. It's like 150 pages. And I thought, well, since I didn't put it on my main TBR, I might as well just read it now. But since it's so short, I need more book with me at work. Can't tell you part yet, because I haven't read yet. We'll give feedback when I get home. And then I asked everyone I know, and I was just like, should I start my main TBR or should I just read something for another vlog? And everyone said, start your main TBR. And I decided to not listen to them. And I'm gonna read Kitchen by Banana Yoshimoto. This is actually for another vlog, which is to read some Japanese books, which I've been like going for since like December or something. And I really wanna finish that vlog before like May, even though in theory I could finish it in May as well. Because then I would be posting that vlog while also doing these weekly vlogs. And I'm like, what can I post that before? I will try, I will try. Read one more book. So I decided to read this one. I actually don't know the plot, but I just know that Banana Yoshimoto is a very famous Japanese author. And it's also super short, it's 150 pages long, both of them are. So yeah, again, I don't know the plot, and also I'm gonna this for the vlog, so I need to film a clip for that after this clip. A cat come on, came over, hello. Either way, so I'm gonna read that. You wanna tell home? I'm gonna go soon. Uh, you're standing on a book I'm gonna talk about. She, she's standing on a book, look, it's right there. I need I need a book. I can't cut over you right now. I'm sorry. Either way, and then the book that I'm actually starting for my main TBR will be The Elephant Vanishes by Haraki Murakami. This one was the first one that was picked out, so I'm just, just gonna try to read an order actually. Help me. <laughs> and she really wants cuddles right now, and I don't have time for this. Why are you sitting on me? I don't know the plot for this, but Murakami is super, super weird in general. So like, the plots for them are just weird. This is 327 pages long. I don't know if I will finish this today. If I only read this one, I definitely would finish it. But I shall try. Maybe not at work, but like later in the day. Okay, well, that is the first clip for this vlog. I'm gonna go to work and I, you shall see me later. Okay. Mm. I need to go, baby. Why she like this now? Why oh, you're being so sweet? <laughs> She's being a baby. Bye. Okay, so it's much later. <laughs> like, it's bedtime. And I did not read. I think I said I was... Which, of course, I knew was gonna happen, but here we are. First of all, I did read An Urgent Sky by Fonda Lee, and it was very, very good. So it is very different from Grimond Saga. I think parts of the book, why she wrote it, is like she wanted something completely else from Grimond Saga. And in this, we are kind of in this war with people and being attacked by different animals, in a way. And there's like this one animal <laughs> that attacks people in general. And then our main character raises like a huge bird which you can see on the cover but it's also like that bird has a certain name <laughs> like a a a a roth a root kind of it probably says here maybe rookers are people who like hunt with these big birds and then they hunt manticores and this manticore has like wrong with the main character i didn't know what had happened with the manticores 
before I read a book. Like, that shocked me because I hadn't read a synopsis. So I don't want to tell you, but if you read a synopsis, you know what's going to happen with Amanda Coral. And then it's just, like, her working, like, for the royal family, etc. And being a rooker. Um, yeah, and it's a lot about, like, we're building around, like, how they tame these birds, but it cannot really be tamed. And about, like, the hunting life. And in general, like, about the life in this world. And, like, the conflict between, like, the different wild stuff. I feel like I explained it really badly. But it was really good. Very, very, very different from Grimble Saga. Absolutely loved how it was written. It was written so well. Really, really loved the world building. Really, really loved the characters. I really loved everything. My main complaint is, as always with these, is that it's too short. I would want this as a full-length novel. I feel like there's so much more to explore here. I feel like we could build on so many parts here. That is so great. That it definitely could have been a full-length novel. Obviously, it is written, so it is not one. And that's like, you get a full satisfying story. But I was like, the whole time I was reading it, I was stressed out because I was just like, there's so little left. How are they gonna, like, how are we gonna cover so much? But obviously the book managed to cover it a lot to be so short. And I almost cried. And I really enjoyed it. I'm giving it five stars. Run it off from like 4.5. I don't think it's like a new favorite of all time. It's a book I really, really very much would recommend but it's like it's not going to go up with like Green Saga on that list but it's like a book that is highly up and it's a book I would recommend many many times definitely would want to reread it as well because I feel like since it's so short you go quickly through it and it's like you want to live there for a bit more you know if like there was more novels in this world I'd definitely read them but I just love the concept I love how while it's so short it manage it to give everything you want for this kind of story it was just written so so well and I enjoyed it immensely so I had a great time with this and like 4.5 out of 5 stars we're running it up to 5 and then I started the next book sorry I'm gonna get it eh. I got very distracted at work so that's why I didn't finish which was Kitchen and now I know a bit about what it's about so we follow a main character who because I say, lives life and then her family dies so she's taken in by this other family where the mother in the family is trans and then they talk about this in kind of a weird way I don't even know and then we just see her life and like her connection with this family I, I'm only on page 50 but like I feel like that should be like enough to say what the book is about but I don't really know you know these Japanese books are kind of like vague in a way where like there's not really a plot but there's a plot I don't even know that's kind of the vibe I'm getting and I am gonna go and finish this now before sleeping because I only have 100 pages left that means I did not start The Elephant Vanishes but I should read that hopefully tomorrow unless I just change my mind but you shall see I'm gonna finish this um just very like oh my god all about Unearthed the Sky because <laughs> it was really good see you soon okay so last night I did finish Kitchen. I did enjoy it, but I think it was a bit weird. It's probably not my favorite at all. And there's like kind of two stories in here and they're both all like mothers in a way. In one of the stories, the mother dies. And then the next story, the mother had lost her child. The second one especially was like really vague and weird. <laughs> but like, I didn't hate it or anything like that. It just wasn't like exactly like a book I would like love. And just how it was written about like queer people in general, it just, was a bit of a weird vibe for me, but it was also written in like in the eighties, <laughs> so it was surprisingly accepting, even though it was a bit old. But also like the way they were talked about was a bit weird. But I did finish it last night. I think I'm getting like three or five out of five stars. And now I should read a movie card book, but I'm actually going to read some Berserk, which is the last book on my April TBR. So not a completed cheat. Actually, I haven't even started to cheat yet because I need decided to read some other stuff instead. That was updated for this vlog. I shall give you a I was gonna say a ring if I read more <laughs> hello so I finished in fact let's see if I can show you berserk William 6 which means I finished all of my April TBR I need to go double confirm it on my computer yes berserk was the last thing I had to read so I did the whole thing and I need to read like on certain day when I know I have a lot of time because it usually takes like about three hours like not the reading itself but like because I film and stuff in between. So that will give me up sometime after this. And I should stop reading maybe and relax. But I am going to try to read as much as my requirement possible. I will try to finish it today. Probably won't, but I will try. It's like 300 pages. So we shall see. I don't know the plot. Usually don't for my comment, So you, I'll let you know. This is a cheat. This is when I start cheating. Because Elf Advantages is the first one on my main TBR. Which is why I started as well. To show that I'm cheating my main TBR. Obviously it won't be my main wrap up or anything like that. It would be my April wrap up. But I just feel like I'm cheating. But I'm still reading. No one cares. But I care. Okay. I'm gonna go and read. And I will give you an update for whatever is going on in this book. Who knows actually. It's Murakami. So. Yay. So. 
It is very late, but not, I mean, it's a bit over midnight, but I need to go up early, so I should be asleep. But I decided to stay up a bit to finish off and vanishes, and I did finish it. This is a short story collection. I had forgotten that. I knew it initially, but I bought it a while ago, and I have forgotten. So I read it, and it started off with this very interesting story, and I was just like, oh my god, it ends. And then we started with something else, and I was like, oh my god. So obviously, I like short story collections sometimes, but I always feel like in most short story collections, there's some stories that are really, really great and really, really like weird or bad. Especially if it's different authors. Obviously, all of the short story collections in this one is by Murakami. And he is super obscure and weird as always. It's like really hard to interpret what he means by his stories, like if they even have a meaning. And like here, it's like all his full like novels, but like in really short ways there were some stories that was really interesting and good and that i was like really into and there's some that didn't give me anything and it, like most of it doesn't make any sense for example we have one story where this newly married couple decides to rob a mcdonald's for like 30 big macs and because they're hungry and he told her that he used he robbed the bakery once that's the story and it was like, it was, that was actually an interesting one, but there's like another one for like three pages where like there's a monster under the bed or something. I didn't really get that one. That was too obscure for me. And then there was another one, for example, where if he had his character who used to be a lawyer and then he had quit his job and didn't really know what to apply for. His wife was really good with his job. His wife worked really like well and had a good job, so he didn't really necessarily need one. And then he gets a weird phone call for a woman like 10 minutes every day. And then she started to want to have contact with him in a way, and he hung up, and the cat is missing. And then he meets a teenage girl and talks to her. And that was the whole story. Like, what was the point of that story? I have no idea. It was interesting. Say, like, that is kind of all his books, though. It's like, like that first story where, like, something with a job, something. Oh, he went to work, and then he met a girl, and I had sex, and then he looked at life. And they are interesting, but they're kind of like, they have the same vibe in a way. And like, you can definitely see that in some of these stories here, where I read like a lot of his full length novels, and you can definitely see like the vibes connecting and they are always super weird the women are always weird the dudes are always weird they usually never have names for example there was one story here where like he mowed lawns and then he quit mowing lawns his girlfriend broke off with him it's really weird my favorite one in this was with when a woman stopped sleeping then it's just about her life when she stops sleeping that she reads a lot of books which one was that probably the one that is called sleep i bet it is that one yes she just stops like sleeping this about her life realizing but the ending was so weird and dark and i was just like what just happened and i don't know we would never know but yeah it's it was really weird in murakami style i didn't personally like love this i think as much as his novels like i feel like there's so much weird shit in his novels, and they're kind of repetitive in a way as well, because they feel like they're a lot about the same character, while they are not, but a lot of like weird, obscure things happen to the character. My favorite is still the first one I ever read in like 2017. Don't know if I ever love it as much now, but when I read it, was it 2017? That sounds wrong. 2015, which was Kafka on the Shore. It's like still my favorite to this day. I really do want to reread that. I enjoyed it still. It's like 3.5 out of 5 stars. It's like, I don't love it, but I still enjoy it, even though it's weird. But I sometimes just enjoy weird books, you know. I read the first book on my main TBR. I started to cheat. I'm going to start another one tomorrow. I'm going to try to at least read one more. So then my 21 books on my TBR is only 19 or something in May. I said I managed to read one more after that. It depends a bit how much time I have the next few days, which is not a lot because I'm very busy. But we shall see. Anyway, I'm going to bed now. I have work in the morning and I can't even read where I'm going to work. So it's even more tragic. See you later. Hello. So I'm in my PJs again because I am again going to bed when I open my blog. The whole day just ran away from me and I started to read so much later than I planned. Continue to cheat on my TBR. I realized the next book I was actually initially planning to read is like actually on like for one of like the Asian readathon prompts, I realized that maybe I shouldn't read that one because like I want to read actually that in May <laughs> to fulfill like the Asian readathon within May. So I decided to just pick out one, like one of the other Asian books that I picked and the next one or not the next one, but I'm reading one of the other ones for another thing later in the month. Either way, the next one is Song of the Simmer Flame Like Night. Actually, I think I'm saying the title kind of wrong. It's more like Song of Silver Flame Like Night. I don't know why I said it like a sentence when it's more like a poem or song, maybe. I have like a beautiful, stunning edition and I'm actually reading it without the dress jacket on because it was like the most annoying thing and it's so pretty underneath. I will show you. It's really pretty. This is the Lumicrate edition. It is, right? I don't remember. I 
I think so, I'm pretty sure. So I started that just now and I'm like a hundred and something pages in. The book can't find a bookmark. Apparently I didn't put in the bookmark, that's probably why. Um, I think I was like on 130, I don't even know. I want to read to 200, you should see if I can manage it before passing off. I want to finish it today or tomorrow. If we were in a perfect world, I would finish it today, but I was so tired <laughs> after work. Either way, this one is about different characters. We have Lan, our main girl character, and she has a turbulent past <laughs> because this kingdom that we live in used to be ruled like by the emperor. He like collected all like the clans and emperor, and they all lived like harmoniously, keeping all their traditions in like the 99 clans. But then after a while, someone was like, no, you can't all be different, I mean, it all be the same. So like, kind of the culture of all the different clans got mingled together and a lot of them have been forgotten. And then they were invaded by the Atlanteans. And now they are under like, invention, invasion, occupation is the word I want. So they're occupied and then we have a main character who when the occupation happened 12 years ago was like six years old her mother died and she has this like this weird scar thing and she's trying to find out like what really happened at night because she can't really remember and then she kind of gives her like these flashbacks and seem to maybe have like i would say an affinity for magic but maybe that's the wrong word but she has the affinity for a lot of like yi energy um that can be used if she's trained to do certain magic. So we have our dude character who goes called San and he is a practice practitioner. I would say practitioner, but it says practitioner. There's two T's. There's T T's. <laughs> um so he can like actually use the magic and have some train in it and like he meets her and it's like I can help you kind of been looking for you but didn't really know who I was looking for I don't even know there's also someone else after her that wants I don't know her energy or whatever and then they're going out maybe going to school maybe going out to see answers to like what really happened to her why she has like the seal thing etc so that's like kind of the basis of the plot it sounds like any YA fantasy ever <laughs> which is like not necessarily a bad thing I'm not saying that's terrible because obviously those were popular for a reason and I'm like I personally really like them as well, but it's funny. But I really like like the, I would say like, Asian influence of all for the whole book, and I'm enjoying it so far. It's a very easy read. It goes, it flows, etc. But so far, I'm not like super like oh my god, this is amazing and the most original thing ever. It doesn't need to be, but I'm just saying like that is my expression, expression impression so far i can't speak english ever so sorry I'm like i'm not hating it i'm not loving it it's totally fine i feel like depending on the answers we get for like what really happened etc that would like make or break the book for me with if it's like just like oh my god you're so special or something for like no reason at all i would just be like yeah obviously <laughs> but if it's like something deep or something more we just see i did read the other series by the author what's it called the blood air trilogy and like i like that series but i hated that thing I think I really enjoyed the second book in that. My first book was okay. The last book was like, <laughs> in my opinion, shite. I didn't like it. So I don't know like what I would feel about this. I didn't even know, is this a series? I mean, that could also be, you know, a potential thing to look at into. Okay, so it seems to be a duology. Which granted, I prefer duologies lately more than trilogies because trilogies frustrates me in different ways. Because then it just feels stressed out. For certain series, it's not all, obviously. That is that is what's going on. Again, I feel like I described any YA fantasy ever. Again, not necessarily a terrible thing. But it's just funny because one you describe them and literally sound the same. It's just funny. But yeah, now I'm gonna try to read a bit more before sleeping. And hopefully I will finish it tomorrow, but if not, we shall see. This will at least be finished before May. So then I'll at least read two books of my TBR for my for my for my cheated. Yay. I don't have it in me to read anymore because I'm tired. But I want to upload to say that I don't know why I would call it Yi energy. I don't know, because I was thinking about yin and yang. I don't know what my I'm very tired. I meant Kui energy. It's like a trope in like, you know, Asian inspired fantasies, etc. Where that is energy that has to use like the magic. I need meditation and different stuff. So it's not like an, a normal troll, but I feel like sometimes they also have like yin or yang energy. It depends. Obviously, not all Asian inspired fantasies are the same, but yeah, I just wanted to correct myself. And now I'm gonna go to bed and pass out. But yay! Hello. It's like two days later because I didn't get to after the vlog at all yesterday. I was out all day, and the only time I read was when I was commuting, and I couldn't update on. So I am still reading some 
of Silver Flame at night. It would probably be like the last book as well as maybe a manga for this vlog. <laughs> Should I finish my audiobook today, but I didn't do it. I'm on page 214, so I shall finish it now. It's like 450-ish. So I only got to see two books on this vlog. I wanted to do three, but it only turned to two because I was lazy one day. <laughs> it's fine. I am liking it, but I'm not loving it. It's like, it's okay. I just feel like everything feels a bit underwhelming while well, like I'm supposed to feel like really emotional, but I guess I feel like a bit distant from the story. A bit like it's not capturing my attention that much as I wanted to. It's nothing like that's really making my heart pounding or like a really engaging story. It's not terrible, but it's not amazing either. It's like totally fine. I could recommend it. And I feel like it's a nice like fantasy for many people to read and many people to enjoy. And it's okay. So yeah, we should see final thoughts. I'm gonna go and read it now. And I'm gonna get back to you. I finished the book. I finished the book. Oh, Actually, I ended up enjoying it much more than like... I was like earlier it was just stuff happening and that I didn't expect and I because it was just going in a very much a direction that everything was going straight forward and I was just like I'm bored but now some interesting stuff happened that was revealed so I'm like curious to see what will play out it still reminded me a lot of like Shadow of the Fox meets like I was gonna say something else but I feel like also maybe they only remind me of that because it's also like an Asian inspired fantasy I don't know if that's a good or bad thing and it's not like there's anything wrong with that either because there's always new readers that's gonna find new things especially like you know when it's been some years and something else was released etc etc but yeah I ended up liking it I felt like really tree story earlier when I talked to you but now I feel like it's more like a 3.5 so I'm happy about that and I like enjoyed stuff happening in the end some was very predictable I kind of like yeah of course but it was still fun to see it played out and I liked the what's it called the termination of like I main characters I don't know what I said about the magic system earlier but I feel like a lot of things we learned about the magic system was kind of like not even relevant because of all the certain objects that was revealed about our characters but either way it was an okay time. I feel like also a lot to do with my enjoyment of the book because I feel like it's not very negative here. Is that I feel like I've been looking more into like more complex stuff I'm looking for in my fantasies. And this was just like a bit more straightforward than like what I enjoy more in fantasies like lately. So I feel like if I had been Erica. So I feel like if I'd been like you know, more of an adult fantasy and like more complexities. I would have enjoyed it more. But yeah, now I'm going to read my Hero Academia. I was actually supposed to read it like one or two books ago, but I just like didn't have time to like settle down with a manga. So I'm just going to do that now. And it will probably be my last physical read of the month because a new month starts tomorrow. Yeah, this is volume 32. Hello. So I just finished my wrap up. So I needed to film after doing this vlog as well because we are done and I'm going to start a new weekly vlog. It's not even weekly. What did we start on Wednesday? I read so much for this vlog because on Wednesday I read Untitled Sky, right? And then I also read Kitchen and then I think we moved to the next day. <laughs> Yes, because on Thursday I had sprints. So then I read, oh, it's so big. I dropped the book. We, I read Berserk. And then I also, sorry, ended up reading The Advantages. I finished that later that night. And then apparently I used three whole days on Song of Silver Film Like Night, which I shouldn't have. It's only like 450 pages. I really actually should have finished that in one day and then one, one more book so that I would have been even more had on my TBR and cheated even more. But I didn't, so alas. And then I ended, ended up with my hero dami which i did really last night and it was so good like at first i was just a bit like what have you skipped in time you hadn't skipped in time but i felt like you had skipped in time and then certain things happened with a certain character and i was just like what what's going on i never expected it to go where it went but i absolutely loved it maybe i should have expected it but i absolutely loved it and i'm very excited to see what will happen in the next volume i know i obviously can read the chapters now because you can subscribe and like read them but like i like to read them in these as they come out and then obviously i also have my whole system with manga. I also miscalculated I think for this month my books. I think I can read a manga sooner than I thought because I like to read three books like books <laughs> before reading a manga so that like I have a system on it but then also sometimes when they're really short I feel weird counting as a book but then I still do because obviously it's still a book but it's just weird and obviously the audiobooks that I read don't count in that but yeah so I feel like I might be able to read a manga today but we shall see. But yeah that was the wrap up for the week. 
Oh, since Wednesday. I feel like I did well, even though like, I guess a lot of the books were really short. But it was my reading for the week and I think, I think it was fine. And yeah, thank you so much for watching this little reading vlog. I hope you enjoyed. I am planning, as I said, to do another one for a week for May. So yeah, even though this started on Wednesday, it was just because that's when I started to cheat on my TBR. Or I was planning to start. And then didn't start on the Thursday. But that's besides the point. I hope you enjoy. You should see me a lot in Maiden. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Leave a superhero module down below if there's any. If you enjoy this. And you should see me soon in a new one. Bye!